It's not so much, you know, do I, did I expect to be in this situation? Don't get me wrong, um, I love her, and that's not the issue. And my life wouldn't be the same without her, if you know what I mean. It's just certain things came unexpectedly, you know? We have common interests, you know, we, we, we both like horror movies, laying on the couch watching movies, cuddling, walks. We tend to go on a lot of walks, yes. And somehow when I go for a walk by myself, it's not the same. We, we meet new people. She's not afraid to do the first step special. Cooking together is it's the best thing. I, I love cooking for her, so, you know, it's, it's enjoyable. And when we eat together, it's, you really feel a good connection, you know? It's what everyone would want to have. You know, one thing always comes into mind. Um, made her some food and she was really hungry. You could tell she was impatient. And just thinking about it makes me smile. She, um, now I told her, I told her, be careful, it's hot. Don't, don't eat it quickly. Cause you know, she was, she was hungry. She didn't listen to me. She, she ate that really quickly and she burnt her mouth. She said it was my fault, <laughs> and I, I couldn't help but laugh. And sometimes when I, when I leave the house, I just know that she holds it against me. You know, she, she hates when I have to go. It's, it's beautiful. It's cute. I always say that she's my, my munchkin. As I said before, I love her, and I have nothing to complain really. But, there's just this one thing that I just don't understand. When we sleep, she takes up the majority of the bed. And I've gone to the doctor for a chronic back pain. And I understand it's not her fault. You know, everybody's, everybody sleeps the way they sleep. But, I just can't help it. I just... The doctor said I need surgery. Sometimes I wake up and I just stretch just to make sure that I can still feel my legs. It's that bad. There was one day, um, one day I couldn't feel my toes. It was cold, up to my knee. Um, I tried to stand up but I, I just fell to the ground. I had to call the ambulance. It was probably the scariest moment of my life. They told me that I, uh, if I continue like this, I might have to get my legs amputated. I'm, I was worried. She doesn't understand the severity of the situation. How could she? She's, she's my munchkin. There was one day that she was having a bad dream. I could tell. And... <laughs> I, I tried to, you know, get closer. But the moment she felt... The moment she felt my touch... She... She kicked. And... I fell off the bed, of course. In fact, I don't remember much of that day. Um, the pain I felt actually made me pass out. I passed out for five, six hours. I couldn't tell. And, well, she was sleeping. All day. My main problem isn't so much about the whole taking up the majority of the bed, as much as how can something so small take up that much room, you know?